Hello, in this first section of the video, we're going to discuss the attribute brush basics. To do this, we'll use the display color attribute, a print bar included on most USD prints, to paint colors onto our mesh. To launch the brush tool, the user can select this icon on the left-hand toolbar, or press Ctrl B on the keyboard. Pressing this should open a new window pane on the right-hand side of your Create layout. First, we have three buttons, the Paint, Erase, and Flood buttons. The Paint and Erase modes will allow the user to interactively paint attributes per vertex on a primitive. The Flood button will apply the selected value to all vertices on the prim. Under Brush Parameters, we have a few options to control how the brush works. Size which is the radius of the brush the user intends to paint with, strength, or the opacity of the applied attribute value, stamp interval will set the distance between brush strokes, attribute name is the name of the attribute the user intends to target, color, the value the user intends to paint with, and blend mode. We offer three options, replace, which will replace the current attribute value with the selected value, add, a mode to add the existing attribute value to the selected value, and subtract, a mode to remove the existing attribute value. Next, we have brush fall off, the easing method for the brush profiles, and clamp, which will clamp the painted values between zero and one. Here I have a simple scene with a subdivided plane. As you can see, I have some tessellation to paint vertex colors onto my mesh. Let's select our prim and press the paint icon. We will be painting with the display color prim bar, the default attribute. To paint, simply mouse over the area and press and hold the left mouse button. Brush radius can also be controlled by pressing the keyboard shortcut B and scrolling the mouse wheel. Now let's switch to the Add Blend Mode and add a red color to our vertices. As you can see, in the overlap areas, there's a yellow color appearing where the attributes are added together. Where there's no green values, the red appears. Now that we've made some paint, let's clear our prim by selecting a mid-gray and pressing the top flood button. As you can see, the display color attribute allows you to quickly paint colors onto your prim. In the next section, let's set up an MDL material and use the paint tool to manipulate some part of our material on a per vertex basis.